Well, hello and welcome to everybody who's tuning in from around the world. I'm sure that you can sense a very different feeling in atmosphere and ambience around the ground, certainly by comparison with what we've seen before in this year's competition. Gone now are second chances, points and tables, that sort of thing confined to the group stage. From this point on, nothing other than a win suffices. The move here is expectant and nervous. Wonderful scenes here in the Dutch capital inside this terrific arena. One that does more than justice to the stature of the man whose name it bears. Everybody standing for the national anthem of Croatia. They have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. Well, there's a perceptible change in mindset here, both in terms of crowd and players. You know, Peter, it's the suddenness that I love when you get to this phase of the competition. The suddenness in which you can find yourself in a good position, or the suddenness in which you can, it can go against you. That introduces drama, which creates great excitement, and ultimately, you get a much more entertaining show. There's the whistle, and here we go. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Well, Witzel is an interesting character. He won't back down from a challenge, thanks to his, his combative nature, and he's happy to give it to the more capable attacking talent. Uh, he'll be looking to assert a physical... Goes for goal! Another chance! Goal! What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Mertens with a predatory goal. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. I think they've gone about their business with the opener very much in mind, and this all goes well now. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Rebic. Vlasic. Perisic. Well, he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Shakes for an overhead! Get that clear. Rebic really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. And it's Perisic. He's left his man. Goes for goal! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. 
Rebic is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Out to the left it goes. Vlasic. Belgium scored early, of course. And the score is 1-0. Lofren plays it forward. And here's Perisic. Rebic. Rebic! And he comes up trumps again. Rebic can only think of disappointment right now, but he'll get to appreciate just how good that save was. Vida. Rakitic. Perisic. Vlasic. Lukaku. Dinks one in. Well played, he saw that coming. Brozovic. Rebic. And it's Lukaku. Now it's Azar. And here's Lukaku. Rebic. Witzel tries to get it forward quickly. Mertens. Good run. Ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Throw in. Vlasic. This could... Rebic! Good first touch and almost as good a second. Rebic brilliantly took control of that, which was exactly what the situation required. That's our... He's got away. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Rakitic, and it's played forward. Lasic plays it out to the wing. Uh, more than happy to take the muscular approach. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. But his most important job there was to keep the shot down, and he did that without any problems. That's good concentration. <laughs> Belgium take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Well positioned to make that interception. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Torgan Azar. And it's Azar. <laughs> and we've reached half time. Reflections on the first half. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Belgium sitting pretty here at half time. 2 0 up.
the start of the second half. Place it over to the other flank. Vlasic played out to the right. Whipped in. Heads in! Lukaku Alderweireld Meunier Mertens Vida cuts it out could move up a gear here and that's a foul simple decision for the referee Tries a shot! Oh, he's missed it. Well, they're being made to force the issue, but they need to be patient and a little more composed. And it's Azar. And here's Lukaku. Talking Azar. And the defence can get it clear. Hazard. Witzel. Meunier. What a throw in. It's being played forward. You felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Hoists it forward. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Rebic, out towards the flank. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. but not much of one has a pop Rakitic quickly realised that he could have a pop not his best loose ball, who's going to get that? doesn't get the pass he's looking for Rakitic goes looking Hazard already of course on the score sheet He's played him through. Oh, what a ball! Real chance! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stops. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Time for a change in personnel. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Mertens. Mertens puts his foot on the gas. That's pretty clear. It is a foul. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. Players protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal, though. And this is the perfect opportunity to create a cushion between the sides. Mertens with a real chance here.
dispatched expertly. Nicely done. Belgium take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Over to the left. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Mertens. Rebic. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. That's a good foot in there. Much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Going through. Cut out in the nick of time. Mertens. Rebic. And that has been clubbed away. Now it's Lukaku. Gets away from his opponents. Did forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Torgan Azar! Torgan Disappointing finish in the end. Belgium have found chances hard to come by, so that's perfectly understandable. Croatia are making a change now. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Rebic spreads it towards the left. It's a loose ball. This is Belgium's chance to counter attack. It's the through ball. Lukaku. He's a... It's Lukaku! Outstanding save to keep that out. And a goal kick. And it's Vida. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Picked him out, he's off on a marauding run. He's through and all alone! Has a pop! They are rampant! Players ecstatic, fans delirious. This is utopian. What a simple finish in the end, what do you think, Jim? Yeah, and I think we may have had too many defenders ball-watching them because they just lost sight of the real danger.
Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. Done very well to intervene. Forward it goes. Confirmation that there will be four minutes stoppage time. And there's a long ball. Lukaku plays it out to the wing. Lukaku. Well read, he sorted that out. Quick pull forward. And there goes the final whistle. Victory in round one. Still plenty to do, of course, but one huge step forwards. And what do you take away from it all, Jim? Belgium really look like a, a winning contender. They move on with room to spare.